a little birdie told me that you may be struggling with your Reels views. That's fine, because in this video, I'm going to give you some tips for how you can increase your Reels views or the number of plays your videos receive. What's up friends, I'm Millie, I'm an influencer coach and welcome back to my channel where you get weekly videos from me every Wednesday and Sunday teaching you the latest strategies for how to grow your brand, business, and social media as an aspiring influencer. This video today is sponsored by HubSpot, which I'll be telling you about a little later on. As always, timestamps will be in the description down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here, so let's get into it. What? is considered to be a view. Or for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to keep referring to it as a play based on Instagram's definition. So a play on your video is the number of times your video starts to play after an impression is counted. This is defined as video sessions with one millisecond or more of playback and excludes replays. Did you hear me? It, it excludes replays. So all of the plays, those numbers that you see, does not include repeat views. So how can you get more views and more plays? Let's go over some tips, starting with the basics. Tip number one, don't overlook the basics. I feel like people are always searching for the latest tips, tricks, and hacks, but they skip the fundamentals, the basics. And if you don't have the basics, your videos aren't gonna perform well. When I say the basics, I'm referring to the quality of your video and the lighting setup that's in your video. I'm not saying you need to have like the best equipment, the latest iPhone, but simply wiping off and cleaning your camera before you record can go a long way. So that's like tip number one A, clean off your camera before you press the record button. If you want your video to be the highest quality, be sure to use the main camera on your phone. There's like the selfie camera that has a lower quality, but the flip side, your main camera, that'll give you higher quality. Typically I'm filming with the selfie camera, so it's not like you have to never use the selfie camera. So sometimes I'm filming with that. And if you do choose to film with that, wipe it off. Sometimes we get makeup on it if we're talking on the phone, so wipe it off and make sure your lighting is set. I love big natural lighting, so I'm going to windows by my house. I'm going to like our porch. We have lots of natural lighting there. I'm not always using my YouTube lighting setup. I'm really just looking for the best natural light in my house, setting up a pile of books, getting in front of a window and using as much natural lighting as possible. Tip number two is know your hook. You want to grab attention within the first second of your video. If you're not grabbing attention within the first second, you've already lost a view, you've already lost somebody continuing on. So when you're scrolling through your Reels tab, when you're scrolling through TikTok, what makes you stop scrolling to watch an entire video? Typically it's somebody's hook and the hook is how somebody captures your attention and gets you to watch the entire video. There are different strategies that you could use within your hook. For example, movement. If you move towards the camera rapidly, that's a way to bring people in. If you're jumping into the shot, that's a way to grab attention with movement. Other strategies can be the words that you say, text that pops up first and foremost even the colors that you're wearing. So really ask yourself, how are you capturing attention within the first second of your video? My favorite way to use hooks is with words and talking directly to my target audience. And not just the words I say, but the words that pop up on the screen. I make sure there are always words telling the viewer exactly what they're going to get by the end of this video. So I'll say, this is how you can gain 10,000 followers in 30 days. That tells them the result that they will have by the end of my video. If you have no idea where to start with hooks, I do have this here. It's 50 Reels hooks that you could use to capture attention. So I'll be sure to leave that link down below. Okay, now if you're someone who is looking to increase like your overall engagement on Instagram, I do have a guide that you can download below. It's 20 powerful strategies and hacks for increasing your Instagram engagement. Yes, this guide is completely free. And the best part, it was created by HubSpot, who, as you know, is sponsoring this video. So they wanted to create and give this 25 page bundle of wisdom to all of you. Inside of this guide, you'll get a list of all the latest strategies, tips and tricks for how to increase your Instagram engagement, because let's be honest, I feel like all of us could use a little engagement pick me up right now. <laughs> when following their tips inside of the guide, you'll definitely learn how to leverage some of the lesser known features on Instagram and start gaining more likes on your posts and even more followers. Use the link down in the description to download the guide for free 
or you can use the pinned comment and I'll link it down there. I think it's amazing when brands want to share free value to entrepreneurs and influencers. So thank you so much HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Tip number three is to keep the attention. While hooks are important, if someone doesn't even watch past your hook, it doesn't really matter. If you want to get more plays, you want Instagram to push your content to more people because repeat plays, they don't count. To keep attention, you want the video to be fast paced, continuously moving. One way to do this is by using Instagram templates. There's an, plenty of templates that you could choose from where all you have to do is plug in your clips and it auto edits the video for you. So it already sets how the videos are gonna pop up with the pre-selected song. That's a great way to use a template, something that's already proven to work within the Instagram platform, keep attention. If you're somebody who is talking to the camera, make sure to cut out what I like to call the breath of death. I know that sounds a little silly, but a common mistake that I see people make is at the very beginning of their videos, they start like this. So, and they literally just like, it's a big breath. The first second of their video is them breathing. Cut out all the breaths of every single clip. I love on Instagram that you can edit individual clips. So if you start the clip with a big pause or you're like, and then you're like sitting there and you're like, open your mouth, like cut those little things out and keep it fast paced. You can cut out or cut off the very beginning of your words. So it's right there capturing attention. That's why when I'm doing talking head videos, I like to just say my little tips in like 10 words at a time. So I'll go, this is how you could grow on Instagram. Step one, you're going to do this. Step two, you're going to do this. So I break apart my talking videos instead of just being like, step one, what you're going to do is da 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 and like do one long clip. I like to do lots of little clips to keep it fast paced, moving around and maintaining that attention. The reason it's important to maintain attention is because Instagram also kind of measures the retention rate of your video. So while a play is important, they're also paying attention to how long somebody stays on your video. If your video is 10 seconds long, what percentage of people are completing the video? Where are people dropping off? If Instagram sees that your video is getting 100% completion rate, they're gonna be like, wow, that's a good one. Let's push it to more people. So having people watch longer will tell Instagram that it's a good performing video, which leads me to tip number four, the length of your video. In Instagram's article, shedding more light on how Instagram works, I'll be sure to link that down below. They say that the most important Important predictions we make are how likely you are to watch the reel all the way through. They literally say it. I do have another video that talks more in depth on how the Instagram algorithm works for reels specifically, so if you want to conquer the algorithm, I definitely recommend watching that video next. You'll probably hear a lot of tips out there that are like, oh, make sure your videos are seven seconds long and then have the text be longer than the video so it gets more loops. Like there's lots of strategies out there where they say, oh, seven seconds is the sweet spot. 15 seconds is the sweet spot. Even Adam Asari has said like, hey, if your reels are shorter, they'll probably perform better because people are watching them all the way through. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you there's a magical number. There is no magical number. But in general, if you want people to watch more of your video, having it be 15 seconds instead of 45 seconds, you might get more retention rate or more percentage of the people completing that video. Therefore telling Instagram, hey, it's a good video, people are watching it, let's push it to more eyes. So make sure you are testing to see what works best for you, whether that's seven seconds, 15 seconds. I teach educational content and it's hard to teach an entire transformation in seven seconds. So really test to see what works well for you, your business, your niche, Everybody's different, so just keep that in mind. Tip number five, this kind of sums everything together. Just don't waste precious seconds in your video. This ties in the breath of death, trimming content, making the video as short as possible, you know, ties everything together. But let's say after you finish filming, it's a talking head video, you finish filming, go through each clip and see like, okay, how short can I make this? Can I trim off the beginning? Can I trim off the end? How fast paced can I have this move to where it's still easy to understand? If you feel like it's moving too fast paced, 
add captions. Instagram has the option to auto-generate captions for you, which will help people follow along with your video. Trim off the breath of death, keep it engaging, moving, fast pace, all the things, and that will help people watch your video all the way through. Bonus tip, which I feel like isn't a bonus tip. It should have been like part of step one, starting with the basics, but your videos will perform really well when you know exactly who you're trying to talk to. Yes, picking your niche is important, sticking in your industry is important, all of those things, but when you know exactly who you're talking to with your video and with your content, it's so much easier to create captions or like the pop-up text that's going to capture that person's attention. So if I want to target college students who want to make side hustle money, like they're balancing their college life, but they also want to make money online, college students who maybe they hate what they're doing and they want to make money online, that's what I'm targeting. I really want to put myself in their shoes and think, how can I capture their attention today? How can I provide value to them today? What's something they're struggling with? Okay, let's say they want to sell a service. So maybe I'm going to be like, this is how you can make a thousand dollars as a college student part-time. That's capturing directly my target audience's attention. So really think of who you're trying to reach with that video and how you can talk to them, provide value and capture their attention. Because when you understand that, that's when your videos are really going to pop off. If you've made it this far, comment the secret phrase that was really helpful. Get it? Reels? Really? Oh. Also, if you're watching up until this point and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. It's free to subscribe. You get free content every week. So it's a win-win. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.